This here is the Leica Q2 Reporter, and it's beautiful. And for a long time, I've wanted to own a Leica, but they've always been out of my price bracket. But on a recent trip to Hong Kong, I was able to purchase this at a very, very good price. Today, it's the day that I'm going out to shoot with it for the first time in a place called Taiyo Fishing Village, which is in Hong Kong. So sit back, relax, enjoy this peaceful walk around a cute, quaint, beautiful Hong Kong village. Okay, so we've made it down to Taiyo Fishing Village, and to be honest, it's pretty cool. Obviously being veggie, I don't eat fish, but it's cool to see people living off the fish that they're catching. So they're going out in the morning, so they're catching their fish, and then they're coming back and, and selling it either to tourists or locals and selling it in these markets, which is really cool. Uh, I'm rocking the Leica Q2 reporter today, walking around, just getting kind of just simple shots as I'm walking about. And some of the photos that I've got so far are on the screen. And to be honest, this is such a nice, easy travel camera. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, because it's the reporter, it's in beautiful green with the contrasting black, like my hat. And it's, it, <laughs> I'm, I'm matching, but it's, it's all good. It's super clean, super nice, and I'm gonna have fun shooting with it. Okay, so I've just found this really cool frame here. So this is all shadowed out, and then you have this lovely highlight on the other side. And I was thinking that'd be actually quite a nice shot as somebody walks through. So I'm just putting focus now. So I've just noticed in this box is a little kitty. Hi. Hi. Look at the kitty. Hi, kitty. So I'm really liking this kind of setup. So I'm thinking. It's probably a bit too bright, so we're going to go 500 of a second. I'm at f3.5, ISO 100. Maybe get a bit closer. Come over on the right. Let's go have a look in here. It might look pretty cool. There's a, there's just a like a, I want to say temple. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see how it looks. Get anything good? I haven't got anything yet. No, nothing. Yeah, you did. Oh, you had a cool yeah, shot. Yeah, cool shots. Look, look at this. What, bro? That looks sick. Oh my goodness. Okay, so look at this vibe. Wow. So I just saw this little side alley. Might be a little bit of a different perspective because uh, most people shoot over there instead of coming over here. Because obviously if you pan down, you can see it's not the greatest area. But I'm thinking if I can get maybe down there, shoot back towards the village, it'll look quite nice. I'm gonna try and do so without falling into the grime because it's pretty grimy. And not very nice, but okay. Yeah, this should look nice. Okay, so I'm f 5.6, 500th of a second, ISO 100. It's just a nice, peaceful frame. Whenever you are out shooting and you see little alleyways like this, as long as there's no sign saying don't go, always go down them to see if there's something there. Like, that shot might not be like the best shot in the world, but it's something different to what other people are getting. Especially when you're going to such a touristic area, it's always good to go to different places or try different avenues to try and get different shots. Oh, 
出啦！你你落艇你都揸識揸船，再最好係識釣魚，係嘛？上岸咁啊你啊，我揾到婆婆開心到不得了。So I'm just getting this shot here because the the hat looks really nice with the the backdrop of the mountain. So just down the end of this little street, you have a kind of a natural frame just here. And I think if I can wait for somebody to walk through the frame, it'll look really nice. Okay, so the lady I just got shot of just now is actually walking through the frame again, but bosh, yes, that was good. That was nice. Okay, maybe I can get another one as we walk down here. Maybe get one in, uh, in portrait. Okay, so we're just walking down this avenue here. Got Dirk and Jesse down here getting some cool shots. And I saw this, and I really like the aesthetic of this uh, this old house, but it does look lived in. So I'm gonna get a shot. I'm gonna put it up to the eye to get the photo. So I'm gonna get a little bit down the bottom. I'm gonna get a little bit of the gate in it, just to give it a little bit of like texture and context. So I'll show you what I'm getting. Uh, I'm at f2.8 because I want the bokeh of the, the gate and then the uh, the house to be in focus. I'm at a thousandth of a second, ISO 100. Oh, right. It's <laughs> a nice shot of this guy going across the uh, bridge. All the boathouses down this way, and then the other way you have uh, where we just came from. We just came from down this way, and we're kind of heading down into the back of here and see where we end up. Wow. Oh, what, bro? You look sick. Look at this. I've got to get closer because of the Leica. Sorry, bro. You're. Yeah, you don't need me. Okay, so I really like this simplistic shot here. If there was somebody walking across that bridge over there, it would look really sick. But for example, I'll just show you the photo that I'm getting. Oh, sick. So we're just walking back towards the bus now, and then I'm going to get a couple more photos as we go, as we're like kind of walking down the street. Just have some people, what about this guy here? What's up? How you doing? Good man. Nice. Oh look at this, so there's a shot up here of the uh, this guy just sitting up here, which is going to be really nice. But I'm going to change the... Uh, the settings. Okay, so I'm at f1.7, I say 100, 1000 of a second. I get one in portrait as well. I think I might be able to like frame it from this side. So as you've seen, I think the, the files from this are fantastic. As we all know, Leicas are fantastically built. They're fantastic cameras that yield amazing pictures. And being that it was the first time with it, it was a little bit different to get used to. Obviously I'm used to a Sony body and um, that bigger form factor from a camera, but it's really simple and easy to use. And it just makes photography feel like photography again for me. I feel like the Sony is a good workhorse. It's fantastic for uh, all of the jobs that I do. I love it. Uh, but this is light, it's compact, 
it's beautiful and it's making me fall in love with photography all over again. Uh, a lot of people have compared it to the X100V aside from the price tag. Um, and I would say, I, I think this is obviously a little bit better. I will be doing a video about that in the future. So if you're interested in hearing my opinions about the differences, then subscribe, notification bell, all of that good stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I hope that if anyone uses Leica or has any tips or, or, you know, maybe there's something I've missed out in this video, I'm learning. It's a new body, it's a new system. Let me know down in the comments. I'll be doing a full run through of my Leica setup as well coming soon. With all that being said, all of the photos from the Leica were edited uh, with my presets. There's a link in the description. Um, and I've got some new presets coming out soon. So stick around, make sure you're uh, following me over on Instagram because I'll launch it there first before I launch it here. I hope you're all having a great day. Create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, go shoot.